Hey, here's how to fix an air pump for your aquarium. Um, if you've had aquariums for a while, I'm sure you've had one go bad on you. It stops pumping air or doesn't pump enough air, but I've got this one. That it's a double, double outlet air pump, and uh, for a while one side was still working, but the other side finally went bad on me, and uh, took it apart to fix it see what's going on uh, you'll have this little rubber foot on the bottom you pull all the screws out and that'll come off and here's what the inside will look like um, this is what it would look like if you just had a single it'll only have one cylinder but I've already got it taken apart and taken one of the air cylinders out um, basically what you have is you got your your motor over here which is just a rotating magnet and on the end of your you have your air cylinder here your gasket and you've got this little, you'll have some kind of rod that goes across here with a magnet on the end. And what this, what this motor does is it just rotates the magnetic field so that, you know, if you got two magnets of similar polarity, they want to push apart. And when they're opposite polarity, they pull together. So this is just a rotating magnet, magnetic field so that it pushes the, it pushes the magnet away and pulls it towards it just very, very rapidly. So you're going to have very quick movement here and what that does is when it goes up it sucks air in when it pushes it down it pushes the air out so um, you might have a screw that holds it into place some of them some of them don't but um mine did so I took the screw out and I got got my little air cylinder out and what you have in here is it's gonna be kinda hard to see I'm trying to light this the best I can but it's small parts in here you have a a little rubber piece which is just used to hold in a smaller thin flap of rubber and that's your gasket which seals off these little holes well how these things work is when when your magnets going it's pulling air in through this little opening here it pulls it into this chamber and sucks it up into the top chamber and in here you'll have this little little tiny rubber piece and it holds a little rubber flat gasket in place over this hole it's just a one-way valve so when the air gets sucked in and pulled up that valve flips up to let air into this chamber and when your when your gasket pushes down it pushes air down through this hole and out your pipe and that's what this piece is on the other side you got your little rubber piece and your flat rubber gasket just a one-way valve that only allows air to go out this one so you take that little this little rubber piece out and you'll see this little flat rubber gasket all it does is just covers up that hole and it's rubber so it's flexible so it just folds up to let air out but doesn't let air back in so uh, that's what that is I'm not gonna take that out because it's a pain to get back in um, you'll need obviously a little screwdriver little flathead screwdriver works for that and most of the other screws will probably be Phillips head but uh, I already had I already fixed this one and what I did was I scavenged parts from other air pumps they're all all the ones I've had are all almost exactly the same very similar you'll have your little air cylinder and you'll have these little rubber pieces these little rubber pieces here that hold the gasket hold your flat gasket into place um, yeah I, I scavenged some rubber gaskets that were still good on my other air pumps and that's usually what will happen you'll have one or maybe both of these little flat rubber gaskets go bad and that can mess up your whole pump but uh, I fixed the other one in here already by using spare parts from other gas from other pumps so what I'm gonna try with this one is I'm gonna try a new solution to use some household things to fix it so uh, we'll get to that step next okay my first solution to making a new gasket was uh, to find some rubber naturally but um, where can you find it well if you got an old shoe even a good shoe um, I just took use my razor and just cut a thin little slice off the bottom of my shoe and uh, we're gonna switch tweezers come in handy for this. Use that 
Um, I didn't cut it to the exact shape of the previous gasket, but just as long as you can get it to cover the hole and then have a piece on the inside where you'll put your other little rubber stopper to hold it in place. So get that back assembled. So I got black sole on the black air cylinder so it's hard to see but yeah just get it in there to cover up the hole then get your gasket put back on top of your air cylinder and then uh, reassemble make sure all your air pumps will have a gasket on the bottom cover up this end of it mine's glued in but I've had other ones my other air pumps that the gaskets will fall right out they're not glued in so just make sure that bottom gasket is in there because that'll seal it off off the bottom of it and if you don't have that in there you might be wondering why this solution didn't work so just get your pump put back together and you're ready to go we'll uh, give it a try now see if it works okay um, got my pump put back together and Got an airline running into my breeder tank with my guppies, and just gonna try out and make sure my uh, little piece of rubber from the shoe, see if that works. And there we go, working good. So there's one solution. I'll show you some more. Okay, my next solution was to use plastic instead of rubber. If you don't want to cut up a shoe or you don't have an old shoe you want to slice up, so I just got some fairly thick plastic um, from just from some kind of wrapper uh, like a, a thick Ziploc bag could work um, I tried finding some plastic that was fairly thick not like thin grocery bag material but something a little thicker um, I just cut a thin little strip and then cut it down to size again I'm not cutting it to be the exact dimensions of the previous gasket that failed but we're gonna see if this works just just a little strip big enough to fit a section back in here so you can put your rubber stopper in to hold it in place and long enough to cover up the hole so I ended up using just a, like a ziplock bag from like a block of cheese just something a little thicker um, like I said, a Ziploc baggie would probably work, like a freezer bag. They're thicker, thicker plastic. So let's just put this back together. Reassemble it again. Like I said, make sure that this bottom gasket's in or you won't get a good seal. So, alright. We'll get this reassembled and uh, show you the results at the tank again. Alright, back at the tank. Gonna try out the little plastic bag, little strip of plastic from a plastic bag. Um, got it hooked up, plug it in. There we go, it works. Now I got one more solution to show you, so try that one next. Okay, here's another idea. Uh, I didn't think this could be complete without trying duct tape. Um, all I did was cut a thin little strip and then folded it back upon itself and then just trimmed it down to size. I already got that here. So just a tiny little strip just big enough to fit in here. Long enough to cover up the hole and enough to put back in that back section to hold it in with the gasket so there's that piece let's go try it out okay now let's uh let's try out the duct tape get it plugged in all right it's working uh, i was a little worried about the duct tape but i can't fix it with duct tape it is broke. Here's another idea I came up with, but I'm not gonna 
I'm not going to try it out, at least not now, just because uh, the little rubber and plastic and duct tape seem to work pretty well. But uh, I was going to try, I got some silicone, and I just put it, I put it on a piece of broken acrylic, something smooth so I can peel it up easily, but put a little dab on it and uh, smeared it out fairly thin. Um, it's been a few hours and it might be dry enough to pull up, but if you try this method, I would uh, let it dry for like 24 hours, make sure it's completely dry. And then just do, like with the duct tape and the clear plastic, just a thin little strip. You know, probably use a razor knife or something, peel it up, slice a thin little strip. And uh, silicone's flexible, so that might be another solution that would work, but... With the dry time on it and my other ideas working out so well, I'm not going to mess with this one, at least not now. But another idea that you might try, and if you do try it and it works, let me know. Thanks. Okay, so here I am. I've showed you a couple possible solutions to uh, fix your gaskets. But what I'm going to do, like I said, I, I scavenged a gasket from one of my old other uh, other air pumps to fix fix this first one but what I'm going to do is replace since I got a double air pump I'm going to replace two gaskets I'm going to use the rubber little rubber piece I got from the shoe and the little uh, clear plastic piece from a plastic bag uh, I'm going to try those out and uh, maybe give you an update in a couple weeks or so and see how they see how they work make sure they don't wear out um, the duct tape I was kinda worried about it before and I I'm not gonna try this out because I know duct tape can uh, it can dry out and uh, become brittle so it's a solution if you wanna try it um, you can maybe hit me back and let me know how it works but I'm not gonna try it out because I, I think that one's most likely to fail um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a little more detail about the pumps. I'll show you the the uh, gaskets that normally come with. So okay, you take this little piece out and inside here, here's the gasket that I scavenged from an old air pump. Um, you can see it's like turning black up up on the little top. It's got like a little tongue that sticks out. You can see the, the shape of it. It's shaped to fit right in there but uh you can get it gets a little dirty in there you know so uh use a q-tip try and clean out the gunk that can also affect your seal you see that that little black soot just from running over time picking up dust and stuff in the air getting sucked in so just try and clean that out. Yeah, pretty dirty in there. So um, I'm gonna save this gasket. Maybe fix my other pump with it. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use the clear plastic in one of them, and I'm gonna use the little rubber piece from the shoe in the other one, and uh, try these out for a period of time and see if any of them fail so I'm just gonna get this all put back together get it reassembled get it running use it for a few weeks or so and make sure uh, these pieces still work after a while I'll uh, give you an update in maybe a few weeks or a few months or something uh, like I said earlier about these gaskets on the inside this was the one from the other side it fell out so you just want to be careful with these make sure you put these back in and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little super glue put a little dab on the bottom and put it back in there make sure it doesn't fall out again so yep gonna get everything put back together and hopefully it, hopefully it lasts and we'll give you an update in a while thanks for watching